I couldn't imagine, imagine a better finish for these seniors um, on their last last game at home um, for the regular season. That was really a phenomenal accomplishment, what they've done since they've been here. But uh, Jackie won to steal the thunder today. She uh, came up with the triple-double, just a great game off the bench. Um, so willingly gave her spot to Butler so she could start and then came in and had the best game of, uh, of her season. So we just have so many weapons on offense and uh, we're just starting to peak now. I feel like we're really, we're in a great place heading into the tournament as the number one seed exactly where we want to be. Why don't we do uh, questions for the players first? Three, uh, you talk about your last, what would have, you know, there'll be a couple of games after this, but talk about playing here at Notre Dame and, and were you extra geeked for this game today? Um, it's It's been so exciting to play here. I mean, this is one of the reasons I came here to play for Coach Ron and her staff and just the fans out there being in, it makes a huge difference playing in front of 700 versus seven, 8,000. So just to know on a consistent basis at home, we're going to have those kind of fans and that kind of support, even in the community too. Like we go to the store, we go to the movies, like someone always knows us and talks to us. So it's really great feeling to play for this program. And what did it mean to have uh, somebody coming off the bench like, like her today and, I mean, <laughs> and, and performing like she did? I mean, Jackie can literally average triple-double if she wanted to. Like, she's just that type of player. She's like the Russell Westbrook of women's college basketball. She can score. She can rebound. She can get the assists. She can get really any stats she wanted to. So So that didn't surprise you? It didn't. It honestly, no, it didn't surprise me. <laughs> Bree, your efficiency from the field lately has been phenomenal. Uh, is that the, ball, the position you're getting the ball in, or is it something more that you're doing, or is it both? I think it helps. I'm taking some pretty close shots, <laughs> and the guards are doing a really great job. And just too, just trying to get it up high. And I mean, it's really hard for people to jump with me. So when they kind of get in that little area, and I can tip it in, it makes it a lot easier to put more more of them in. Jagger, what's it mean that, that you guys have uh, fought back from um, you know the disappointments or during the season that you've got yourself back to where you are now, number one seed going into the ACC tournament on a roll now. Yeah, um, we knew we really just had to focus in in our last few games and um, just finish strong. Um, I really think that just came with practices. Um, we've really been competing in practices, uh, having hard practices, and just really focus on our defense. And whenever we play defense, um, I think we're the best team in the country, and we're um, able to able to go in transition. And um, when we're in transition, that's honestly our best game. And you were, uh, you I think. Of your 11 assists, I, I think there's like six or seven of them were on three-point shots, and you made a few yourself today, so the team had a really good three-point shooting night. Yeah, I mean, um, Arike was definitely hot from the three. I think she had six threes, and I mean, Marina was hitting threes like usual, and so, um, I don't know, I guess everyone's feeling it today. <laughs> What's it like playing with the, the four seniors, and, uh, or the three seniors and the grad student, uh, to have them on the floor with you? Yeah, I mean, it's been fun. Um, I mean, they're great, um, great teammates, um, just great people in, in general. And um, I mean, it's, it's really going to be sad to see them go. Um, I feel like we all have uh, really good relationships on and off the court. And so um, every time we get out there, um, we're just out there having a, having a really good time, just um, having fun. And um, like I said, to see them go, it's, it's going to be sad. They're, they're a great senior class. Jackie, okay. um, coach has been asked, has been working with you to become a leader on this team. Today being senior day, you still have some season left. You're stepping into the leadership role. How do you feel? Um, I guess I'm just trying to, I don't know, take that role as best as I can. Um, I don't know. I guess that, that's, that's kind of hard for me, but uh, just being quiet. But i just trying to um, talk a little bit more and um, just communicate with my teammates, um, just letting them, I guess, feel more comfortable with me, knowing they can come to me, talk to me if they don't know plays, whatever it is. Just um, trying to build a great relationship with the underclassmen. You, you guys seem to have as much warmth for, for Marine Butler as any of the other seniors, and you're always engaged off the bench. And just talk about deferring that start today. I don't know if it's your choice or not, but uh, deferring that and, and, and what she's added as well, and how comfortable you felt coming off the bench. Yeah, I mean, Mo's great. Uh, we all love Mo, and um, I was glad she was able to start today. Um, I can't imagine how she felt. Um, lots of nerves, just everything. but. Um, she went out there and she played well. Um, it was just really fun to see her to see her play and see all of her uh, friends and family out here. Um, they had like fat heads over, so I mean it was, <laughs> it was like a, a really exciting day for her. Anything else for the players? Jackie, is there any reason you shouldn't have three point capability game in and game out? No, I think um, 
I don't know, that's just something that I've uh, worked on, I guess, this season. Uh, just really getting confidence. Um, there's no reason I shouldn't be shooting threes. I think um, that's just me, just passing up shots and um, kind of just deferring and letting other people shoot it. But I mean, think, I guess now it's time I need to just step up and just be more confident in shooting it. So how nice was it when the first one went down and didn't anybody say anything to encourage more? Oh, yeah, it felt good. And um, uh, I mean, they didn't really say a whole lot, but I mean, you could definitely tell. I mean, it was, it was a relief, but um, I don't know. Coach said something about dribbling up, just pull up and shoot a three, but I don't know. Just take it if it's open. <laughs> Good. All right, you guys. Thank you. All right, questions for Coach? Muffet, when is, uh, I know it's your tradition that you like to start the four things in the past. Was Maureen, a, 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 did she know that? And, and what was her reaction when you say, hey, you're starting? Uh, she was really excited and I think a little nervous um, initially. Everybody was so excited for her. Um, I think she was a little overwhelmed with the emotion of the moment. Uh, I told her practice two days ago that she would be starting. And um, she had to learn the top of the zone and she had to learn a couple of things that she's not in, uh, in that position normally. So um, she willingly did it. But she, you know, we're so glad that she came back this year. Last year, wasn't sure with all the players we had if she would be coming back. And you know, she came back in and said, you know, I really want to be part of the team next year. The team kind of uh, echoed that. And uh, so I was really glad that she came back. Did you say anything to her when she came off, when you brought her out the first time? Um, no, no. Yeah, she, she, seen, she, she seen that you, you kind of were yeah. happy with the way Yeah, I was happy with her start. Yeah. Coach, can I um, ask you, I, I saw you took a moment before the game on the bench and sat down and were really kind of just to yourself. And I wanted to know whether you were thinking of the seniors in that moment before the game or, or the ACC on the line type of thing. I think that's my normal pregame jitters, uh, <laughs> trying to find a way out. And I do. I like to kind of think in my own head what what exactly is going on, trying to get the emotion of the moment behind us, and just focus on how important the game was. And you know, hoping everybody else lost that was playing today that we were <laughs> going against. <laughs> of course, a lot of emotions tonight, though, with the seniors. Just comment on on that class. I mean, one of the richest classes you've had, and, yeah. and what they've done. Statistically, the best class ever, although not in, in games won. But those um, those seniors are such veterans. They're they're just they're such great teammates. We had no drama um, with when you have 12 women. That's that's a really doesn't happen very often. So it's great to see that they took care of things in the locker room. Um, they helped the freshmen come along. It was a, a you know kind of a big jump there. We had a lot of freshmen, a lot of seniors, and they did such a great job of trying to bring them in and getting them to understand what we needed to do. So uh, their mentorship, their leadership, uh, they're they're so ready for the next level, and yet they never came into practice and just went through the motions. They worked hard every day. And then what it's like for them to go out again, getting a share of the ACC, and for you guys to wrap up. The regular season. You know that's expected. I, I think we were we were honestly disappointed that that we lost the two games that we did and uh, really wanted to go through undefeated. So I think we still have something to prove. Muffet, they had 15 offensive boards yeah. in the first half. Concern? We did talk about that at halftime. You did. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, uh, were you happier with the way things went in the second half? It was much better in the second half. I'm surprised you didn't hear me talking about it at halftime. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were trying to read your lips. <laughs> Anyone else? What, what, no. One more. Yeah. What's it say? I mean, you, you've been in arenas where no matter what's going on after a game, it, it tends to empty out. But what does it say that roughly 95% of this crowd is still here through that entire ceremony? I, I love our fans. I'm so grateful to them for what they do for us. Uh, every game we come out, we just feel so blessed to be in this situation where people care about us, uh, they support us. They're the reason that we're playing as well as we are. Recruits come in, they can't wait to come back here and be a part of our team because of our fans. Uh, so they help us in recruiting. Uh, they, they know when we absolutely need them to stand up and cheer for a defensive stop or for a basket. Uh, they're a really intelligent crowd. And uh, I just love how they embrace the girls out in the community.